How time flies. It's been 10 years since the death of Mommy Abiodun Kumoyi, the beloved wife of Pastor W.S. Kumoyi, who passed on to glory. Late Mommy Abiodun Kumoyi was born to the Olowu family of Epe in Lagos State on January 7, 1952. Mrs. Kumui was a generous woman who assisted women who were genuinely struggling with financial problems. One of our major projects was the Women Mirror magazine. Mommy Kumui spearheaded the establishment of this magazine in October of 1992 and was the editor until her demise in 2009. Her principal focus was the development of the total woman. She was a visionary woman who worked tirelessly to alleviate the sufferings of women. She fortified... Let's talk about our ministry. Long before our marriage to Pastor Kumui, a zeal for God made us stand out among the other sisters that started the Bible study group in 1973. In the early stage of the ministry, she took it upon herself to transcribe the pastor's messages for use as tracts and books, and the ministry's cassettes were manually labeled by her because of her good handwriting. She also pioneered the fourth choir of the Monday Bible study. Mommy Kumui was also a helpmeet to her husband, Pastor William Folonisho Kumui. She was an outstanding model of a loving, submissive, and devoted wife. She set many women up in small-scale businesses through an interest-free loan scheme. Our concern was to ensure that no woman should backslide mm -hmm. from the faith as a result of financial or material lack. She reached out to many widows and trained many fatherless children. Testimonies abound of women who were lifted from penury to economic buoyancy whose children's school fees were paid and whose broken homes were helped through her counseling and prayers. She was also a great inspiration to young couples. Through her ministry to women, many received salvation for their souls and obtained all the Christian experiences of sanctification and baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mommy Abiodu, out of difference towards the Bible teaches about the place of woman in church, operated silently beyond the scene. Mommy Abiodu Kumuit's own ostentatious lifestyle of liberality to God and man has long standing lessons for a thinking age. On the morning of Saturday, April 11, 2009, as she listened to her husband leaving the congregation in so staring him, she joined and sang with a surprisingly strong and clear voice. Her face glowed as she sang along. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And the white-robed angels sing the story. A sinner has come home, for there is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven, never more to roam.
and she closed her eyes in bed. She came, she saw, and she conquered. She will forever remain in our memory.